My name is Whitmer Thomas, and I'm a comedian and a musician, musical comedian. pandemic has affected stand-up in a um, big way because now stand-up doesn't uh, exist at all other than on these Instagram live or Zoom or Twitch shows and um, you know that's not super fulfilling it's kind of depressing to do those shows as a comedian because there's no audience live to bounce your jokes and bits off of but I still do them all the time just because I like being a part of the comedy community yeah and a live audience is like that that's the whole thing with stand up comedy some some comedians don't get laughs off of their like well crafted material it's just their personality is funny and entertaining so it feels stand up has always gotten a bad rap for just being like a one sided conversation but especially on zoom 
like Zoom stand-up shows. It just feels like somebody is talking and, and, and like you don't get to chime in. You take your clothes off too Put a record on And you lock your door I am certain I won't be able to perform The thing is running through my head I nervously whisper into your ear Can I eat you out? Oh, let me eat you out Maybe lay back for a while and let me eat you out There's nothing really worth talking about I'm just feeling really nervous So can I eat you out? While I try to figure out what to do with myself Cause right now I'm as soft as a puddle made of felt So lay back, lay back And let me eat you out I'll go downtown I'll dip my fingertips Please don't look at my dick I'm on my knees I'm here to please It's all I know to do I'm too scared to fuck you But I like you a lot And I think you're so hot And I swear that I'm the one Wish I could say that I was drunk don't go sober, tonight's not over You will all breathe if you let me eat you out Let me eat you out Eat you out Doing comedy or making stuff right now about COVID and it's like, ugh, I don't want to hear about this stuff. Like I've already got to, you know, filter through the news every morning and try to figure out what's real, what's not real, what's like too depressing to read or, or whatever it is. So just making jokes about it, it's like, ugh. but the things that, you know, I'm sure this pandemic has inspired, like the art that it's inspired is there's a lot of really good stuff. And some people are really thriving right now. Like, in isolation coming up with cool things that you know just just using a different part of their brain um i thought i was going to be one of those people but uh-uh <laughs> i was like <laughs> this loneliness will like propel me into a creative zone i've never been able to access and then about two weeks in i was like nope never mind i'm just gonna watch batman the animated series every day took my girl to the beach We kissed under a blanket As the sun went down, down She sucked on my neck And I touched her breast Then her hand crawled up My billabong board shorts or maybe they will Vulcan This is the best night of my life I 
I said as she tickled my inner thigh I said you are She said I haven't even started yet She started to graze My shaft and balls and taints And I immediately came All right I looked her in her pretty eyes and profusely apologized. She said, for oh, what? Why? At that moment, I realized that I could see both of the hands. I lifted up the blanket and I ran the tiniest little sand crab a crab covered in my comb crab covered in comb crab covered in my comb crab covered in comb crab covered in my comb crab covered in comb crab covered in my comb in my billy bong board shorts crab covered in my coon crab covered in comb Crab covered in my corn, crab covered in cone, crab covered in my king, crab covered in cone, crab covered in my cone, in my billy bong board shorts. Or maybe they were Volcom, they could have been rib curl. Or maybe they were Quicksilver or Hurley. Let's be honest, they were Mossimo. True story. I wish I could say that I was like watching six foreign films a day and really taking the time to, you know, broaden my horizons and become uh, more of a sophisticated. Um, cinephile I just can't like I can't focus and and uh, so I've been kind of watching things that really comfort me like we watched Waiting for Guffman and um, watched uh, what the TV show What We Do in the Shadows that's kind of the only new thing that I've been able to really get into and watch and love is What We Do in the Shadows and then the Three Busy Debras TV show on Adult Swim I watched that every every premiere night with uh, my girlfriend Mitra Jahari who co-created it and stars in it with her friends sandy and Alyssa. and then a lot of my friends have come out with stuff i watched that you know my buddy clay and my buddy steve smith came out with something called piggy on adult swim also that's really cool and the new cartoon midnight gospel by duncan trussell and penn ward and a bunch of my pals animated it i've been watching that kind of stuff Guy, you are a big baby too, and I'm about to tell you why. Mother was a big, big baby, and daddy was a big baby too. Big brother was an even bigger baby, wore a size 13 baby shoe. Woo! It's easy to be a baby, cause all you gotta do is sing. And if you can't sing, then maybe you can scream. Rush, rush, rush! I'm a big, big, honky, chunky baby, yes, you are a big baby too. Skip, scop, rip it down, lap, tap, pop, slap it to to you. When you laugh, you can slap your knee. I'm a big, big baby. And you are not alone. I'm a big, big baby. Go, 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 ga, ga, guitar solo.
This has been me, Whitmer Thomas, and uh, please watch The Golden One on HBO. It's my comedy special that I, it's my life's work. And then uh, also listen to Songs from The Golden One on Spotify. I try really hard on both of these things, and I understand if they're not for you, but if they aren't for you, don't tell anybody, because I'm, I want to make it in showbiz, and I don't need that kind of negativity keep it to yourself if you don't like it and um and if you do like it tell tell all your friends by taking back sunday <laughs>